Welcome back here on MustangsTV.com. We got Coach Lee Boyd, head coach of the Loretta High School Mustang football squad. Coach Boyd, a lot of things going on, especially in the offseason. We got basketball season going on. A lot of you players out here on, uh, you know, your football players, a lot of them out here on the, on the basketball court. But you had a special thing that happened yesterday, especially for – for not only the Loretta Mustang football athletes, but athletes in our district and region as well. That's right. Um, first of all, I want to tell you all thank you. I don't get a chance to be on this end much and uh, and uh, tell you guys here how much I appreciate you all. And uh, it's kind of different being over here. Uh, <laughs> most of the time I can see you up in the box. But you were talking about the different view already when you come up here. Yeah, I'm not used to it like this. But, uh, <laughs> but now we, uh, uh, we had our all-region banquet yesterday. And... Uh, we had uh, 14 kids off our team make it. Uh, really, really, we had 16 awards. Uh, I had two that doubled up a little bit. Oh, that's good. Uh, we had. Uh, I'll just kind of go through them a little bit and kind of tell you the awards. Yep, that's uh, what we want to hear. Um, Timothy Brown got uh, first team all running back. Um, Spencer Darnell got first team tight end. Um, Taylor Wilson got first team offensive lineman. Uh, had two de two defensive linemen uh, in Blake Gearhart and Brandon Bird, first teamers. And um, I think, uh, and I had uh, Devin Harris got first team DB. And uh, but well then, deserved, well deserved. That's right. Devin did a great all, all job. All those players are well deserved. But but coach, I, I think you you'll say the same thing I'm going to say. When it comes to defensive backs in our district and in our region, Devin Harris was just one of those that was always out there putting that lick on them and doing that, giving that shot during the game. Well, Devin's just one of them players that you you, you, they, you, you know they're special. That right. And and he come along. I've I've known him since he was little anyway, and he was a good player for me before. <clears throat> and he had some issues at the first year with his health and uh, he, he didn't know if he's gonna get to play in the best game he played in he ended up getting a uh, player of the week was uh, Columbia Academy and CA, CA they come in here ranked number seven and uh, pretty much what they do to Loretta they've done year in year out I had never beat them in any level and, and thinking back I don't think we've beat them since the 80s <laughs> um, but they like to run they, they like to run two receivers up the middle and they've been able to because we ain't made them pay for it. And uh, if you if you were there, if you saw that game, he made them pay for it. And uh, uh, that's just one of them things that uh, that he did a good job of. And coach, I want to say this: if you weren't there, and I want your honest opinion, I haven't had a chance to talk to you about this game, but. Was that not those hits that Devin was putting on those receivers? Did that not make their arms a little bit shorter coming out the second half? Well, I, the truth be known, if you you know if you were there, they would have scored one more time and might have put it into overtime, but he wouldn't catch it. <laughs> he wouldn't catch it. He was I, wide open. I'm just wanting to know if you was going to agree <laughs> with me about that Man. because I told these guys that that works with us on the crew. I said, hey, their arms was all about three or four <laughs> inches shorter at second half than they was at first. Well, half. this is the way that we teach them. Hey, sometimes you get there early, you may, but as long as you knock your head in, I ain't gonna care nothing about no no flag. You know, I mean, just be smart about it. Well, but, yeah, uh, and you, uh, again, we play clean ball, and you, your guys play clean ball. you but right. that football is football. a contact yeah. sport, right? Well, we, that official told me he said he you know he called a flag on him one time, and I, right. I, I pulled him over and I said because uh, you know I, that's probably the only time I never argue with officials. You know that I never <laughs> talked to. Him. No, never. <laughs> I understand. But uh, uh, I asked him. I said, uh, what uh, what was the flag there? He said, Coach, he was it was excessive tackling. I said, I, I've never heard that. And he said, well, Coach, that's what it is. And I said, well, okay. I said, maybe we, we two-hand touch it in the second half then. But, I've never uh, heard of that myself. Me either. Now, I had, some, uh, I had some other guys that made all region right there, the second teamers. I had uh, John Garner and um, Matt Moore. And then Timothy Brown got another award. Spencer got another award. Corey Allen also got first team uh, linebacker. I didn't mention hey, him. Hey, good. He, you know, he's a great player. Matt Rossley got second team quarterback. Um Let's see, honorable mentions in uh, Dalton Neese and Tyler Carter, Mason Purser, and Miles Burks. All what? well deserved. Right All there. well deserved. Coach, but, and, and I'm going to talk about a couple of them real quick, and then we're going to get into what we're looking at in our upcoming season. Sure. But one loss that's going to hurt you this year is going to be Spencer Darnell. Spencer yep. was, to me, was one of your key leaders and stepped it up this past football season. He did. And again, got it, got a real, uh, a well-deserved reward in your banquet yesterday right. that you guys attended to. 
And with, with him, there's also another one, Matt Moore. You mentioned him. Yes, sir. And it seemed like there at the end of the season, Coach, Matt <laughs> Moore was the defense to me. He was. He was the defensive most valuable player because <laughs> he was. And, and, Coach, I don't know if you ever listened to our broadcast. And, 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 but you'll hear me call him Matt Shut the Door Moore that's because it. when they run to his side, that's what he done. Well, at the first of the year, he come off uh, one of the earlier ball games, and he said, Coach, I can't do what you're asking me. And I told him, I said, I don't want to ever hear that again. I said, all I ask you to do is play where I've told you to and do, and don't think about nothing else. And and once he got past that fear of messing up, which is a lot of, a lot of kids' oh, fears at this level, they, right. they, they, they hold back and they're reserved because they think, oh, what if I mess up? Well, that's one thing that I try to address with them is, you know, hey, I mess up. We all mess up. That's Absolutely. part of life. It's how you handle it when you do. And uh, But he did. He did a great job. Spencer, Spencer did a special thing this year. He, he went and was our – you know, we talk about leadership and whatnot in the off season, and he actually, me and him, sat down and had some long conversations about it. And he he asked me, he said, you know, how do you, how do you lead at this level? And I told him, I said, number one, it's got to be by example. I said, you got to earn their respect. And I said, there's two ways of doing it. I said, all my seniors will be a leader somehow, either a good right. one or a bad one. Right. And I said, but to earn respect, I said, they've got to believe in you, they got to trust you. And I said, if you can get to a point where they trust you and they'll look to you when it gets tough. I said, you'll be that leader. And they were all year long. And he was. Done an excellent job for you, Coach. Oh, he, he stepped did. it up to a special level that, that, that was actually special for you. And I know it helped you, you know, reach the status that would reach as far as getting That's into right. the playoffs and all that. Well, he's he's got some other things going. <laughs> I won't get into them right now. He's got some other things going with, uh, you know, with some, some – Right. Next level stuff. And I'm not going to release that I right understand. now, but uh, uh, he's a special kid. I'm really proud. I of work with his grandmother, coach. So you know. So I know a few <laughs> things going on with it. But we, uh, like you say, we want to address him, coach. We got uh, almost three minutes left. Tell us what we're looking forward to for this coming season with your losses that you know your key losses that you had sure. and your key returners and, sure. and what we're looking for. Well, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about our schedule. We 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 got busted up. There's no more regions anymore in the state of Tennessee except in East Tennessee, and they don't have a choice. Um, they actually busted us up, and we only have three. We have five teams in our region in Frank Hughes, Summertown, Perry County, Collinwood, Wayne County, and us. Okay. So maybe six, but uh, uh, only four of those schools play football right now. So our region is basically Collinwood, Waynesboro, Perry County, and us. Okay. So if we beat those three teams, we'll be our region champs. All we got to do is beat them. That's then, right? it. That's all we got to okay. do. See but as that. that put me in a bad pickle because we were in the third round of the playoffs on a Thursday, and they dropped that on me, and I had to find seven non-region ball games. And I had to find them within a 48-hour time period, or they weren't going to be any. Right. So I, I went to call in the Thursday night for the Adamsville ball game, and was calling, 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 and I, I filled, I filled eight spots, including Lewis County, in, in you know, of course Lawrence County. Um, we picked up CA. We dro- the corners boy actually dropped us. And then when I was calling, the special thing, you know, that, that I'd like for my kids to know if they ever listen to this or even the seniors of this community is this. I got this a lot. Coach, I'm not playing you. <laughs> now, that's a, you know, I, you got to take that as a compliment, I took coach. it. Well, I hope my kids do because it, it put us in a situation that, that you know, when I, when I talk to some of my older coaches, they said, Coach, we used to get that. And I said, well, that made me feel good. But, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if, it's, if there's any truth in it. All I know is that's what they said. But right. uh, uh, I actually picked up uh, Trousdale County. And somebody said, well, I can't believe you picked up Trousdale County. You know, they're, they're going to be ranked number seven in the state of Tennessee. And I looked, good. I looked at the guy and I said, I'm number ten. There you go. We're ranked number ten. I said, so – you know, the expectation we're trying to bring is that I really, you know, I'm not afraid of anybody, and my team's right. not afraid of anybody. Right. And, you know, if we if we get our, uh, you know, if we if we get beat, it's because we got beat. It's not because they're a better football team than we were. Absolutely. That night. We just didn't play well. Uh, but then I picked up a special uh, special game. Uh, had to go out and, and get one in um, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. we <laughs> were talking about that uh, here the other day when we were making one of our trips, you know, one of our road trips. KJ and I were talking about that on the way. And I'm thinking, what is Coach Boyd thinking? Well, I, I just did it. They, they've won some states. But uh, I tell you what, I got some good guys coming back. And Corey, Dalton Neese, Leandre Green, he's coming back. He's going to be great, that line. I got some coming back, going to contribute. Uh, picked up some kids. Uh, you know, Ward's back, Rawson's back. 
Um, special, special. You know, I, I, they're working hard. Tyler Jamison's back. We're not small. Brandon Bird's back. Matt Moore's back. You know, we we gonna fight you regardless. I, I guarantee you that, so. you that the Mustangs hit the field, they're gonna fight you. That's right, Coach. With that being said, I also want to get in. When it, when is our spring training gonna start and all that good stuff? Well, we're kind of throwing the idea around between either the first of March or the end of March. We, we kind of do it around spring break, but uh, uh, you know, we like to do ours early. We we we're, we don't do things like everybody else around here. We right. don't usually do a spring game. And that's, there's a reason for that. We do our own spring game in our soap and towel bowl. And, yep. and I'm hoping y'all can actually broadcast that this time. We're black try and to white do it. game. That's that what it stuff. is, black yep. and white yep. game yep. And, and, and everything. So uh, I just I just want to take this time to tell everybody that supported us, thank you, all the fans, thank you, thank you guys. And, and we're just very humbled and, and very appreciative of everything that, that's done in this community to support these kids because they could be out doing other things. You're exactly right, Coach. And we're behind you 100% here at MustangsTV.com, and I hope all of our fans are. And we look forward to football season getting here. It's, it's too far away right now. It, it, it's already started for me. <laughs> I take my summer break at Christmas. I understand, <laughs> Coach. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you doing the job that you do with these young young guys on our squad, and I appreciate them as well. And, Coach, we look forward to talking to you again. Come back and join us here at MustangsTV.com. Uh, anytime. You'll give me an invitation, I'll be here. All right. Thanks, Coach. Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye-bye. Coach Lee Boyd, Loretta Mustangs High School football team, head coach. Good conversation with him. Enjoyed the time with him as we're back under play. As